This product could be the answer to 90% of your problems, but only if used properly. Or if you use it improperly, 64 ounces, down the drain in no time at all. I mean, bye bye baby, you know, just gone. So, you know, whatever you buy, shoot, I don't care what you buy, use it carefully. The other thing I'd like to talk about here, it wasn't planned, but now that I'm here, I can see, and I think it's an important issue is why anyone would bother to paint this door this way with little dabs of, of black paint. I mean, there are a number of issues here. It's a yellow door, we'll take that for granted. But why on earth has anyone used black paint on it? And why have they daubed that black paint on in little tiny daubs like that? When you approach an, an archaeological item like this, a site, first you must really not disturb anything, but you have to be very observant. Look at these marks here, look. See the faint brush marks? As you get into areas like this, you can see how it once looked. But as it's worn away from the salts, the acids, the oils of, of countless hands grabbing this door, I mean, you can see from the use of the doorknob that it's, it's been burnished by human hands. Well, perhaps the hands of raccoons, I don't know. But probably human hands. I'm going to make that assumption. When you approach a site like this, or any site, mm -hmm. you've got to look around carefully with the eyes of a professional. And for instance, when I look around this site, I can see some things that give me a notion. You've got to be careful not to make too many assumptions, but I think this might have been an office. When I look, well, at this portal, for instance, I see some suspicious evidence. This may very well have been an office. Now, I haven't completely translated this script here. This is an old script. It's, uh, it's a script that hasn't been used for, oh, geez, uh, 30 years, I'd say. So it's going to take some time to work on this, but I believe what this says is office. And if I'm correct, then it really has some ramifications and it's going to really guide our, uh, our approach to excavating this site. When you get down 30 or 40 feet, you know, this evidence may take on a, a completely new set, a set of meanings. Um, so it's very important when you first approach the site to look carefully. I mean, look at this sign here. We think that this means first aid. We think this has something to do with, well, emergency aid in case a, an individual, an animal has been hurt. Now again, we don't want to assume too much. We think humans occupied this site, but it may have been porpoises. We just don't know. Again, you've got to be very careful about the assumptions you make. When we approach something like this chest, we think this is a piece of furniture, a chest, we open the drawers very, very carefully. I want you to watch this now. We take a lot of time. This may take all of a oh, quarter of a minute to open. When you approach a site like this, an area in a site, first you have to make very careful drawings, um, and then I think you proceed with great caution. You don't just grab the handle, we're assuming this is a handle here. You can see how carefully I slip it open. It may be booby-trapped, but we may also be destroying evidence. Ah, look at this, a treasure trove. My God, look at this. This is going to keep us busy, the guys back at the lab, busy for at least a half an hour, an hour, I don't know. I mean, look at this. Look at all of the stuff in here. This is terrific. There's so much to go through here. I mean, just look at it. I mean, this may be the key to this entire site. Seriously, this could be the key. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I'm going to assume it's a used up old battery. I, it may actually still be good. Huh? Let's test it. Ah, no, there's nothing there. No power. That battery could be six months old. I don't know. My God, I'm really breathless with this discovery. It could be five years old. I mean, geez, it could be 10 years old. I, I just don't know. But, you know, guys at the lab are going to work with that. So, you know, we're going to have to very carefully pack this all up. You want to keep it in the original order. Don't, don't change a thing. Because we're going to have to take photographs and drawings, you know. Get everything kind of back in here just the way it was, exactly the way it was. These papers kind of, you know, put them in here kind of neatly and tie them. No, I, well, fit them. I don't know, what, what have I done? Anyway, you've got to get them in here. And then just, you know, get that drawer closed as carefully as you can. You see what I mean? Now, take a look at that. Right back just the way it was. We 
really happy. This is something. You've got to be very careful when moving these things. You destroy evidence, but also they may fall over. I know one archaeologist who was crushed by a chair just like that. What the hell are you going to do with that much pine saw? You could get your friends together and you could divide it up in little bottles.